we all have our own story about September 11th. And, um, but what was important for us as a league, um, and you know, what, what happened was, um, we, we shut down the league for basically a couple of weeks. We didn't have a game, and, uh, and we realized we were absolutely exposed. There were only a few teams that had security directors. Um, the league had a security person, and Commissioner Paul Tagli at the time realized, we, we are sitting ducks. We don't have um, uh, plans in place. You know, we've got to kind of leave it up to the local jurisdictions. And so he was um, good enough and smart enough and visionary enough to realize you know, we're the NFL, we've got these great broadcast contracts that bring a lot of viewership, and so we're really um, a visible target. And so we need, we need to really get in front of this and not, um, if there's an event, that, a bad event that happens in an NFL stadium, we can't be standing there saying, well, we didn't do anything. We, he wanted to be very proactive. So he put together what was called a security, stadium security advisory group, and he put a number of people on there. He asked me to be on there. And, and then we started really focusing on the idea that somebody might fly a plane into a, a stadium. So it was about you know, putting uh, airspace restrictions around stadiums. It was about you know, coordinating with, with the local um, police departments, trying to understand if there are terrorist threats about our stadiums. And then, then we moved it, and we, he kept moving it, and we kept, and really literally every single year, we modified our security plans. And so we went from worrying about dog sniffing, uh, or bomb sniffing dogs going through our facilities and locking down the facilities for 24 hours and uh, airspace restrictions over them, to putting in hardened barriers around them, to understanding that you know, people are wearing backpack bombs, that back, now in these days, people can wear very small amounts of explosive uh, material that can, can do a lot of damage, that we needed to have a second perimeter there that was far away from the building. And so we kept, um, and, and we kept adding to our procedures, and we call these the NFL best practices procedures. And, and every year, we have been modifying these and realizing that if we're not staying ahead of things and realizing that, that, that things are changing, um, we're going to have to, you know, we're going to be in a world of hurt if, if there is a problem. And so we've continually gotten better and better with each year.